Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Sunday, March 26th, 2023. Lance Brack here. We are, well, maybe a little less a week away than from the biggest week slash weekend of the year for pro wrestling. Kicking off this Thursday, but first, tonight... We have WWE Superstar Sunday on A&E. Once again this week, we have two back-to-back one-hour episodes of Biography WWE Legends. The first episode being Charlotte Flair, which... I don't mind them doing an episode about her, but a little surprise though, her still being active. And yes, I know they did Paige, also known as Soraya, last week, but at least she's not in the company as of right now. Charlotte is still active in WWE, but like I said, it's not really that big of a deal though. So. I'm sure they'll discuss her growing up as Ric Flair's daughter. I'm sure she'll talk about Reed and getting into the business, of course, and her time on NXT. And then to the main roster and winning the Women's Championship. sure all that will be discussed. Now hers, I could see being an hour. And then next, after Charlotte Flair's episode, is Rakishi, which should be a pretty good one, discussing his career. I'm sure the Usos are interviewed for it, but think so anyway. And... Maybe they might have been able to get Afa and Sika. Maybe even Scotty Too Hotty could have got him to do an interview for it. Unfortunately, Grandmaster Sexe, Brian Christopher, passed away. But still, excuse me, I'm sure too cool will definitely be a big part of it and I'm sure they will show one of the most famous clips of Rakishi's career I don't know if I can say it exactly like him but I did it for the rock and when that was when Stone Cold was ran over by a car at the Survivor Series And then when it was finally revealed who the driver of the car was, it was revealed to be Rakishi. And he pretty much explained his actions by saying that he was trying to get rid of Austin. So then that would open up more doors, more opportunities for the rock in the WWF and I know a lot of people did not care for the conclusion of that storyline how it turned out and then that did lead to a match between Rakishi and Austin at I want to say it was no mercy and it was just Austin beating him and I want to say they went outside Rakishi a bloody mess and then I think Austin just pretty much left him laying and uh his face all bloody and everything but still should be a very uh, pretty good episode of biography I think an hour 
is all right for Raikishi, but I, t I had mentioned last week I thought the Jerry Lawler episode could have been probably extended to two hours, maybe cover a little more. It was a good episode, don't get me wrong, but I think they could have gotten got into more and made that a uh, two hour episode. And then next, after the two episodes of Biography, we have WWE Rivals, which tonight is, I believe, Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, which I want to say is probably the most recent feud or rivalry they have talked about on the show so far. Still uh, should be a pretty good episode. I don't know if it'll be the best episode of Rival so far, but they did have a couple good matches for the Undisputed Universal Championship, and I'm sure there'll be interviews with Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns probably, and I'm not sure I would say probably they were not able to get any new sit-down interviews with Brock Lesnar, but who knows, though. And that is tonight's lineup for WWE Superstar Sunday on A&E. Tonight is one week until night two of WrestleMania. Which everything starts on Thursday, I believe. We have the special live episode of Impact Wrestling on Access TV, which will be at the Access Studios in Los Angeles. Also, at 11 o'clock that night, Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling present Multiverse United. Only the strong survive. I don't know about anyone else, but that is one of the shows that weekend that I'm looking forward to the most out of everything. Also, another one I'm really looking forward to, I'm, there's a few, but that I'm looking forward to actually is Friday. I want to say it's in the afternoon. Maybe 4 p.m. I could be wrong. But Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor, which I believe will be available on pay-per-view and Bleacher Report. I think. And then I'm sure internationally, Fight TV and all the other ones that the AEW pay-per-views are available on. And Friday, of course, you got SmackDown and then the Hall of Fame ceremony. And Saturday afternoon, NXT Stand and Deliver. Also, the whole weekend at different times, you have all the shows taking place during... Game Changer Wrestling, The Collective, all those wrestling shows, and the Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame as well as part of The Collective. And then you got the big event. It's Saturday and Sunday, WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2, which we already know. Night 1 is kicking off with the United States Championship match, John Cena versus Austin Theory. And that's all for this episode, this Sunday morning episode of GMWF. Thank you everyone for tuning in. In case you missed it last night, there was a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatics talking a little bit about Warrior Wrestling 29 and AEW Rampage. If you haven't listened to it yet, feel free to go check that out. 
and hope to have more episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic all week getting ready for Wrestlemania and every morning GMWF hope everyone has a great Sunday today hope everyone enjoys WWE Superstar Sunday tonight until tomorrow's episode keep watching pro wrestling